Previously on the Emerald Chronicles. Open your eyes, Andy. It's a lost cause. We came all the way here for nothing. Besides, Federico forgot about me. Touch me again, and I swear to the hero gods. I'll end you. Go on without me. I quit. Clearly he has some issues to sort on his own. When Deck is ready, he'll come back to us. He just needs some time... alone. You keep calling me that and I've been curious for a while. It means... my love. Oh, well then never stop calling me that. <laughs> Anything else, bro? I love you. Te amo, Decker Highlander. Te amo, Federico Montes. Still on my mind. Ugh! Why? Why do this to me? Lo siento, mi amor. Federico? Is it really you? See si, Decker. Come with me, and we live happily ever after. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm coming, my love. Some rush. Ah! Curse you, fairy go! Everywhere I go, all I see is you. You! I can't seem to let you go. My love. I'm really going to miss you. Same here. Promise me you'll come back. I promise I'll come back. You have my word. I love you. I love you too. See you in six weeks, mi amor. Yeah, see you in six weeks, my love. <laughs> Try to stay positive, Decker. You don't want to cause any trouble with your powers. I feel so... empty. It's becoming harder and harder to stay positive. How much longer can I hold on to just happiness and nothing else? Oh, hey, Decker. Uh, hi, Mr. Johnson. Are you okay? You look like you're sad. No, 
I'm not okay. To be honest, sir, I haven't been okay for a very long time. Despite missing my friends, I can't truly miss them because of my emotions. I'm afraid of other emotions, which is why I stay positive at all times. But you already knew that. Decker, we talked about this. That's not healthy. Staying positive and happy at all times can only last so long. You've been doing this for seven years, so naturally, you're growing irritated. You shouldn't be afraid to showcase how you really feel. No! I don't want to hurt anyone! Decker, I've been assisting you with controlling your abilities for four years. At this point, it's you being afraid, if not slightly paranoid. Perhaps you're right. That settles it. We're starting the training earlier than anticipated. Wait, why? Because it's imperative that you're able to feel all emotions and use your powers without fear of hurting somebody. But sir... Do you remember what you told me four years ago? <sighs> I do. I said I wanted full control of my powers and would do anything to reach that goal. Decker, it's time to stop being afraid. You'll only feel half like yourself if you forever hold back your other emotions. Aren't you tired of staying positive all the time? I am. I'm tired of it all. I want to be whole and firmly use my other emotions. Glad to hear it. With that being said, I must warn you. Your emotions are going to be front and center when training. In other words, I'm going to push you to your limits. A point in which you can't fall back to happiness for support. Are you up to the challenge? Challenge accepted. Bring it on. Excellent. We start now. Federico, my love, I love you. Ugh, stop it, Decker. He forgot about you, remember? And why is he still on my mind? Why can't I let him go? Even after everything that's happened, you still love him. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, show yourself. Who the hell said that? Look straight ahead. Why should I... <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> Hold on! Come back! I just want to know who you are! <laughs> stop. Please, st stop. Come on, Decker! Get angry and let loose your abilities! But I don't want to hurt anyone. Decker, you're in control! Unleash your power and demonstrate the control you've attained over the years! Stop being afraid! No! I'm sorry, but... I can't do it. <sighs> then I think it's time for you to go solo. You clearly need time to yourself. Time to sort things out. But, sir... Don't feel bad. While you're alone, I urge you to face your insecurities head-on and really figure out what's holding you back from letting loose. We'll come together and train again once you've achieved that. Good luck, Decker. <sighs> Why me? It's been a couple of days, Decker. You've achieved nothing since going solo. Why is that? Why can't you stop holding back? You can't go on like this much longer. Federico, my love. It's times like this when I need you. <laughs> I need you. I miss you. <laughs> I'm sad. And it's not raining. <laughs> I'm in control. 
I'm in control. I'm finally in control. I'm angry. No. I'm pissed off. <laughs> that was fun. It felt really good to let loose. Thank you, my love. Thank you for being my anchor. I love you, and can't wait to show you how much control of my powers I've attained. <laughs> Starting today, I'm no longer afraid to let loose my great power. From here on out, I'm working towards gaining full control of my powers. <laughs> This is the dawn of the new Decker Highlander! Ah! <laughs> Big mistake! I hate being angry! Incredible! Now, try to calm down. Move away. Or be killed. Decker. <sighs> Sorry about that. Apparently seven years of build-up and holding back has given me a few tendencies I'll have to deal with. <laughs> At least you're dealing with them. How do you feel right now? I feel... whole. I'm nowhere near full control. But I've got just enough to feel other emotions when need be. I'm proud of you, Decker. You've finally begun a new journey. So what was the trigger to this breakthrough? My soulmate, my anchor, and my love. Federico. Thinking about him led to this newfound confidence and control. It's another reason to love him. I can't wait to see you again, Federico. I love you. Listen, whoever you are, I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to know who you are. <laughs> then what are you waiting for, hombre? Shine your light on me. <gasps> no. No way. I recognize that face. It, it can't be. Y you're... Montez Phoenix. It's nice to finally meet you in person, Decker. I can't believe I'm in the presence of a hero god. How did you recognize me so quickly? Heroics 101. One of the first lessons we were taught was learning about the hero gods. I immediately recognized you from old pictures and paintings. Ah, impressive, Decker. If you don't mind me asking, sir, how do you know who I am? I don't remember properly introducing myself. I know who you are because of a special ability that allows me to see through the eyes of my descendants. In other words, when you, Andy, Chesley, Tachio, and Hope came in contact with my respective descendants, I was able to find out who you were. Because of your close relationship with Federico, my youngest descendant, I got to know you quite well. My love. Trying to let him go? To say I'm trying would be an understatement. A love like yours can't just go away simply because you want it to. With all due respect, sir, I'd rather not talk about Federico and risk raging over it any more than I have already. Fair enough. I suppose now would be a good time to explain why I led you here. I brought you here so I could tell you the true story of my banishment thousands of years ago. Most people are aware of my banishment, but are unaware of the cross I bear that comes with such a punishment as mine. With this newfound info, Perhaps you could take down my evil descendants for good. Are you ready? I'm all ears, sir. Very well. 
Thousands of years ago, when Super Central itself was still quite young, my father, Fire Phoenix, was getting ready to depart from the nation for an important gathering between the hero gods. While he was gone, I was left in charge, despite being the youngest of four brothers. But that's not all. My father also chose me to wield the Crimson Phoenix, much to my siblings' envy. My three older brothers, Jose, Ruiz, and Pueblo, grew jealous of my newfound power and the fact that father chose me to possess our greatest treasure over them. The trio decided to trick me into doing something forbidden. Fall in love. Hold on. You weren't allowed to fall in love? My father hated the idea of two things. Industrialization and descendants. The former was easy to prevent, but the latter was tough to control. Love itself is quite the enigma. Once you're in love, it's hard to fall out of it. I know how that feels. While overlooking the nation, I met a senorita who is muy bonita. At first glance, you'd understand why love is unpredictable. I immediately fell in love with her and wanted to start a family. But then my father came back. He was furious, to say the least. My brothers had failed in telling me about father's distaste for romance and knew all along how he'd react. This led to me being banished from crossing the bridge between Supercentral and the heavens. In other words, I couldn't go home and was stuck here within the nation, forced to live out the rest of my immortal life in this heated prison. Luckily, me and Moore and I were stood together. We had already brought new life into the world. Fernando Montes. Oh. He was everything to me, my flesh and blood. Unfortunately, Fernando wouldn't be like this for too long. Upon telling him the truth about my banishment, Fernando began hating his ties with me, or the hero gods, and used the Crimson Phoenix to claim what he thought was rightfully his nation. My father caught on to this and put a curse upon my future descendants that prevented them from activating the Crimson Phoenix. Since then, only those with a pure heart, like mine, can unlock it. How does the Fire Emblem play into all of this? My father created the Fire Emblem long before my banishment. Its original purpose was to be a key towards unlocking the Crimson Phoenix upon being properly trained but has since been used as a prevention device towards the possession of the Crimson Phoenix. So now the Fire Emblem is being used as a sacrifice in order to undo the curse. <gasps> Which reminds me, Mr. Toshiro is still in possession of it. Worry not, Decker. You've still got time before they extract the emblem from the rock. The clan plans on doing the deed in 24 hours. Then I've got no time to waste. I almost forgot about the mission because I was distracted by Federico's sudden betrayal. Before you go, you ought to know one more thing. First off, there's another way to take out the clan in the event of the Fire Emblem being sacrificed. A descendant of mine, with a pure heart, must sacrifice themselves. Should a selfless sacrifice be made for someone they care about, the curse will be lifted, but also make the clan powerless. Hopefully it won't lead to that, but even then, I doubt anyone would sacrifice themselves, let alone possess a pure heart at this point. You're wrong. There's still one pure heart left, and you happen to call him your soulmate. <gasps> Federico? But that can't be. He's evil now, and what's worse is that he forgot about me. With all due respect, sir, I find that statement hard to believe. So you've lost hope in your love? I have no other choice. Decker, he hasn't forgotten about you. In fact, his feelings for you have grown stronger for the past six weeks. <laughs> I know you've been hurt, but so has Federico. He's confused right now and needs you, along with Andy and the others, now more than ever. Decker... You and I have something that most people dream of. An everlasting love for someone that can also be reciprocated. My love, you 
haven't forgotten about me. Thank you. Because of you, I still believe in Federico. Not a problem, muchacho. Glad I could help restore your belief. Now can I count on you and your friends to prevent the clan from sacrificing the fire emblem? You have my word, sir. My friends and I will not only prevent the sacrifice, but also stop the clan in their tracks and keep the Fire Phoenix Nation safe. Maybe. I, I master, master of weather, weather call, call forth, forth the, the Golden, Golden Nimbus, Nimbus Cloud! Cloud. It was really nice meeting you, Montez. I hope to see you again. Same here, Decker. But I hope you'll be with your soulmate next time we meet. <laughs> Count on it. I, I master, master of weather, weather. command you to fly to my friends. friends! Farewell, Montez, and thanks for everything! Adios, Decker. And good luck. Hang on, my love. I'm coming for you. I love you, Federico. We've got some catching up to do. Figured as much. A lot went down in six weeks. <laughs> Does that include your new look, son? One more comment about my new look and I won't hesitate hitting you. Hey, calm down. Killjoy much? Next time, The, the missing, missing Six, six weeks. weeks. See you guys next time on The Emerald Chronicles.